Prime Minister Narendra Modi in 2019 envisioned making India a 5 trillion economy and a global economic powerhouse by 2024 and 25. With this, India would become the third largest economy in the world. To achieve this target, one sector is coming out with its full potential. That is none other than our blue economy. Blue revolution refers to the time of intense growth in aquaculture industry from the mid-1960s to the present. Nile Karanti mission was launched in India during the 7th 5-year plan. The mission aimed to enhance the economic condition through the augmentation of fisheries by attaining food and nutritional security of the country. India stands at the world's number two in fish production and aquaculture. The vibrancy of the sector can be visualized that fish production in just six decades, that is from 0.75 million tons in 1950 to 51, reached to 9.6 million tons during 2012 and 13. And government's renewed focus in this sector resulted in a 50% jump which stood at an all-time high of 13.758 million tons during 2018 and 19. Let's see the following steps taken by the government. It is an integrated development and management of fisheries at a total central outlay of rupees 3000 crore and has been implemented since 2015 and 16 for the development of fisheries in the country. This scheme aims to bring blue revolution to sustainable and responsible development of the fisheries sector in India with the highest ever investment of rupees 20,050 crores. The scheme also intends to address critical gaps in fish production. The Government of India in 2018 and 19 extended the facility of Kisan credit card for the fisheries and animal husbandry farmers to help them meet their working capital needs. Besides all this, the Ministry also provides financial support for the acquisition of technologically advanced fishing vessels, deep sea fishing vessels, fishing boats and nets for fishermen, facilitating safety kits and providing communication and tracking devices and infrastructure facilities for monitoring, control and surveillance. Now let's see how can this sector lead to the road to 5 trillion economy. Now as you all know, the central government is at the forefront of transforming the sector and ushering in the economic revolution through the blue revolution in the country. India has a unique maritime position with a coastline of over 8000 km wherein 9 of its states are coastal. Also, the coastal economy sustains over 4 million fisherfolk and coastal communities. With this vast maritime interest, the blue economy occupies a vital position in India's economic growth. India is the second largest fish producing country in the world, accounting for 7.56% of global production and contributing about 1.24% to the country's gross value added and over 7.28% to the agricultural GVA. Export earnings from the sector have been Rs 46,662.85 crores during 2019 and 20. The sector has an immense potential to double the fish farmer's income by 2022 as envisioned by the central government. It surely can play a crucial role in Prime Minister Narendra Modi's goal of making India a 5 trillion economy. That is all for today's segment. Thank you for watching us.